Hey, small group leaders, it's April, and this is your April small group leaders update. Uh, summer is just around the corner. It actually, summer starts in May at Hope, right? Students leave, things start to change. We start to go to the cabins, people start to get married. All those summery things happen, so it's just around the corner. As leaders, it's really important that we know your summer small group schedule. A lot of people still want to get in small groups uh, in the summer. They want to come. They're new to Hope. They just graduated from college, and they want to find community. So us knowing what is happening in your small group becomes very important because we need to know which small groups are meeting regularly so we can put new people in those groups. So... It's your job now to figure out what your summer plans are. In about a week, we're going to be sending out a special Pope's form that will ask you what your summer plans are. So your job is, once you've watched this video, to start talking with your co-leaders about what you want to do this summer for your small group. As you make these plans, I want to give you a few helpful tips. First of all, you can just keep on doing what you're doing. Just stick with it. Do your Bible study. Uh, mix it with uh, fun things and service events. Just keep on keeping on. Um, the second option would be to switch it up a little bit. Maybe you meet a little less frequently or you meet at different locations or you meet on off nights. Do more fun things. Do more service things. Switch to a devotional format. Do something different. Um, whatever you do though, we ask that you don't meet less than twice a month. Um, groups that meet less than twice a month tend to have a hard time creating continuity. People start to feel disconnected. Accountability stops happening. Um, and people just flat out miss their small groups when we don't meet more than twice a month. And if you do this, switch it up, change the pace, do some things. Make sure you get the summer schedule out ahead of time so that people can plan things and really get it in their schedule to get to small group. Because if they don't know with enough advanced warning, they're just not going to make it to small group even if you are having it twice a month. So one, meet twice a month at least to get a schedule out before summer starts. All right, leaders, now it's your turn. Send an email to your co-leader right now and start the discussion about what your summer plans will be so that when you get our form about your summer small groups that will come into your inbox, you will know the answers and you can email us back. Again, it's really important that we know what's going on in your group, not because we think you guys need babysitters or we are super all up in your business, but because we really want to know if we can send new people to your group and what's going on in your group for the summer. So... Uh, we're thankful for all that you do. It's pretty awesome that you give all your time to watching these videos and loving on the people of Hope Community Church. Uh, we'll see you next month. Thanks.